Yeah. What's going on? It's your boy CJ Goodfellow. We back with the boxing clinic. You dig? And uh, Victor Postal did a uh, interview with Fight Hub over there in uh, Europe. I'm gonna leave the link in the description. Um, they have a translator as well. Um, you know, Victor Postal came back the same night as a. Uh, I want to say. Canelo and Triple G came back that same night uh, versus an undefeated guy from over there in Europe. Got dropped real hard. Came back and I heard he he fought he fought hard and came back and won a, a hard decision. So you know he took a long time a long time off. Him and Crawford fought last July, so he took a year some change off. Um, and um, I don't understand why guys take so long off. He didn't suffer. Uh, 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 a, a, a life changing knockout or no shit like that. You know, he got out of class and maybe shattered his confidence. And he got he made a couple of dollars and just chose to live off of it for a while. But I I don't think you know got the loss like that should take more than six months off. You know, but um you know then your skills start diminish. You could be getting out of shape. You know, you could be in the gym half ass because you ain't got to fight to train for. You ain't got to be on weight. Um, so I don't like that. You know, um, but he did come back. Got the shit out of his, uh, his head, cleared out his head, cleared. Um, got off the canvas. Um, still won. It was an undefeated guy, and says he wants to mirror uh, mirror Mon next or Terence Crawford. He wants the Terence Crawford rematch, um, not Terence Crawford next. But um, you know him and Mirror Mon can you know legitimately fight for a title once you know you know uh, Crawford vacates the rest of them. He vacated the IBF already, so we got to wait for him to vacate the rest of the belts. Um, him and Amon, Amon is somehow, somehow a staple in the WBC, and I think he's the number one contender still. And that's because of Don King again. I'll keep mentioning that. Stavern, Charles Halley, and um, Amir Amon are all Don King fighters. They're very scarce nowadays, but they still got the pipeline to the um, to the WBC. And all them guys was the number one WBC uh, number one contenders. Um, Stavern, Halley just lost versus Charlo. And uh, now Amir Amon even got knocked out by Adrian Granados. So, um, you know, Postal and Amon would be a good fight. Amon has been coming back versus Bums. Um, legitimately a lot of Bums since being knocked out by Adrian Granados. And, you know, what, what, what kind of puzzles me about that is he says that um, he was sick that night versus Granados. So why are you, you know, why are you taking so long to step up and fight good competition? And I'll tell you it's two reasons why. Because he knows he's going to still be the number one mandatory in WBC, WBC because of Don King's relationship with with the WBC, and, and two, he don't want to he don't want to lose that positioning, you know, um, being number one. You know, WBC is not going to force him to fight, you know, anybody good because he's not going to lose that number one contender status. So once that belt goes up, you know, once Crawford uh, uh, drops that belt, he's going to be first in line to fight for a world championship, and uh, hopefully the WBC ain't ain't going to do no whole ass shit. Excuse my friends that they. That the other section of Bell's body did. Like, the WBA skipped over Sullivan Barrera and went all the way down number 11 for some dude named Brodenhurst or whatever. Brodenhurst or whatever this guy name is from Australia. That was number 11. Skipped over 9 or 10 contenders. And I think that's what the WBC is going to do. They're going to skip down over all the tough contenders in, in the junior welterweight top 10 and go right outside the top 10 right to the end of the top 10 and find a mere mind and easy opponent. And I hope that, and I hope that's, that's the case. I hope his ass get knocked out again. Because he should be fighting the top opponent for the WBC belt. I'm tired of seeing people getting handed belts. They got these 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 agendas they want to push because somebody in their back pocket like Don King. But at the end of the day, um, you know, Postal putting his hat his, his name in there said he'd rather come over to the U.S. and uh fight his next fight. And, and if they drop the belt, make Postal and Amir Mine for for that uh WBC belt and see what what Amir Mine can do. Amir Mine had a lot of people high on him, man. Um, I was never one of the guys that was high in the mirror mind. I didn't see it. See him dropped a few times by nobody's. But um, Postal clearly wants to that Terrence Crawford rematch. I think he's going. Well, apparently he's going to have to move up to get the Terrence Crawford rematch. Um, I don't see nothing else different that he can do that that can save him from Terrence Crawford. Because you know I don't see him getting better like Terrence Crawford is getting better and making strides to get better. So um, you know maybe he's just behind. Maybe maybe you know gets a couple wins on his belt. One forty coming up to one forty seven. But it's a lot of it's a lot of beast there. It's a lot of boogeyman at 147. Uh, Postal can get lost there. You know, if I was Postal, I stay at Junior Welterweight, let that shit clear up, and then come from a dot, and then I come for a guy like Danny or somebody like that. And then I do my thing. But I think 140 is a safe haven for him. Lee Crawford alone, pursue a mine for the WC belt. See how it falls in place. We gone.